This is Miracle Academy. You are welcome. I'm just going to continue from where I stopped yesterday. Yesterday, I was trying to tell you the reason why you should not copy anybody. God is a God of varieties and God created us differently because God enjoys seeing each of us, you know, maximizing our potential and becoming the best that we were created to be. Hence, the Bible says in the book of Corinthians that those people who compare themselves with themselves are not wise. Today, the Lord wants me to, uh, to tell you and to show you from the word of God that there is no basis of comparison among people, meaning that no one is better than the other. No one is preferred by God above the other person. People may have gifts, they may be used by God, they may do great miracles, and many things may be happening in their lives. When they speak words, those words come to pass. We see them as powerful people, we see them as great people, and indeed they are. But according to the word of God, they are not better than you. You see, I find out from the word of God that God loves us the same. The Bible says that God is not a respecter of persons. The Bible says that God does not regard the person of anybody. And this is the reason why in the book of James, God was talking to the church. He said that when somebody comes to your church and you see that that person is poor, and you say, you go and sit there and at the back, and you now see a rich man, you say, you come to this big and better place. The Bible says when you do that, you are not a good you know, servant of God. God says we must not do partiality because in the presence of God, we are all the same. Let me tell you, no matter how good somebody is, no matter how rich they are, no matter how big they are, no matter how successful they are in this world, they are not better than you. The reason why they are not better than you is because Everyone is given different assignment and everyone is given different tasks. To the assignment you are given, there are gifts and talents that is attached to each assignment. And to every assignment that God called each of us to accomplish, He gives us the ability to carry out those assignments. And this is the reason why when, God, when Jesus told us the parable of the talent, the one was given five talents, another was given two talents, and another was given one talent. That one that was given five talents was not loved more than the one that was given one talent. The one that was given two talents was not preferred to the one that was given one talent. All of them were the same, all of them were equal, but God gave them those talents according to their several ability. You see, the ability God gave one is different from the ability God gave the other one. So God is not going to ask from you the ability that he gave to me. If God gave one pastor the ability to pastor 10,000 members, and he gave another pastor the ability to pastor 10 people, he's not going to ask that pastor who is pastoring 10 people, you know, the same question is going to ask that one that is pastoring 10,000 people. Let me tell you, the only thing you should do that other people should do to you is that they should encourage you to run your race. They should encourage you to do better. But to make you to feel bad about what God has given you, don't do it. Whatever God has given anybody, that is what God has given somebody. You don't need to care about that. You don't need to bother yourself about that. You don't need to fight about that. You need to be contented with what God has given you. And this is why the Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, from verse 5, it says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Surely we have brought nothing into this world, and it is very evident we are not going to go out of this world with anything. It is good to make a success of your life. In fact, God is proud of us when we succeed. This is one of the reasons why the Bible says that anyone that overcome, God is still going to reward him or her in heaven. He said, anyone that overcome, I'm going to give him a crown of life. Overcoming is very necessary. But what I'm saying is that 
Many people do things because they see other people doing it. God does not want you to compare yourself with another person. God does not want you to allow other person to influence you to do what he has not called you to do. This is what God has sent me to tell you today in the Miracle Academy. These are some of the things that when you have them, they are going to make you to be a miracle. But before I end today's um, message, I want you to remember and to know that you are a miracle. You are created a miracle. Your conception is a miracle. Your birth is a miracle. Your life is a miracle. Especially if you have given your life to Jesus as Lord and Savior. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you are a miracle because you have received the life of God on the inside of you. The life of God that we receive is a life of miracle. And so you can do all things. Thank you so much. This is where I'm going to stop. Once again, this is Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ Bethlehem, South Africa, and the director of Miracle Academy uh, channel on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. You are blessed. Hallelujah.